Hi there. Welcome. Happy Thursday. And we are all about not just love it, chop it, because love it, chop it means that you just chop it with your trimmer. Tonight, we are going to love it and cut it using SVGs and .fcms. So no matter what die cut machine you're using, you can use these files. So let me know when you're here. Give me a thumbs up or even some hearts if you're really happy to be here. And remember, when you share this video, you're entered to win. And this is the stamp set that we're winning tonight. It's the Fable Friends. Just in time to finish up your Easter layouts. Hey, Susan. Welcome. And I will put this aside for whoever we pick from tonight's airing. How is everybody? Did you have a good Thursday? I had a super crazy busy Thursday. <laughs> Keeping up with a three, almost four, and in a one and a half, it does me in. They're good, but yeah. <laughs> hey, Mary Lou, Kathy, Susan, awesome. Welcome, everybody. Okay, so I'm really excited about this project. Um, the more I, I bring Cricut back in, the more excited I am. I know I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, you know, Scan and Cut does exactly what its name says. It scans and it cuts. But when I'm going to do some designing and some projects and working with SVGs and cards, I just love my, my Cricut for that purpose. I'm actually using my Explore tonight to cut, and you'll see it right over there. She's, she's back on the table. Um, and to the right of me, on this side, uh, uh, my hand over, on this side is my maker, so I could do either one. But we're going to be using this one tonight. And I want to show you, so let me figure out where I'm going to show it to you. Um, in the classroom, which it looks like this, and it's really easy to find me. If you just go to caramiller.com and click on classroom, you want to make sure that you're enrolled in this 2019 live classes. It's free. And when you go in there, you will see everything I've taught so far this year during our Facebook Lives, but t the per particular one, ta -da -da -da, goodness, I'll speak slowly. The one you want to look at for tonight is this one that says, love it, cut it, cards and, and samples. And when you click on that, you will see a whole bunch of files for you. And I'm gonna explain what they are right now so that you don't wonder what you're downloading. But the SVGs are at the top and those are for Cricut users or Cameo users can use them too because they can import SVGs on certain softwares. And then just keep scrolling down and the FCMs are there and those are for your scan and cut users. And then this is what I'm actually working with tonight. You can see the, the designer series paper that I'm using. I have a big pile of designer series paper. I definitely do. And we, we know how to, how to love it, chop it. Kylie taught us that, and I've done it in a few things, and it's really basic. You take your trimmer and you just chop up your paper. But what I've done is to create two files. One is for the designer series paper, and one is for your eight and a half by 11. So let's just get right to it. Uh, let me get into Cricut for a second. And I will take you over there and show you what I mean soon as I get to where I want to be. All right, so uh, here it is. I've uploaded these already. You're also going to see there's some other files in the classroom for you. I created the stamping files that you need to work with Fable Friends. I have two simples for you, one with a bunny and one without. And then you're gonna see these two files. We're gonna put this one in first. This is the one we're gonna work with our designer series paper. You have the SVG, and remember you just upload that right here in Design Space, and then you pop it on the screen. When my SVGs come into Design Space, they're created to be the right size. You don't have to do anything, you just say make it. So it's really easy to work with. You don't have to do anything or figure out anything. Although, why is that not fitting there? Hold on, let's go back. Uh, it's Cricut makes a liar out of me often. 
Um, so what I'm going to want to do is, if it does this to you, select all, and I'm going to attach it. And what that tells Cricut is, keep everything exactly where I have it. Don't you go manipulating anything. And now I'm going to say make it. And it's going to bring it over, and it's going to be one sheet of paper. That's what I want. I don't want it doing this two mat load thing. No, no, no. So remember, if for some reason it doesn't let you put it all on one, just say cancel. Come back in here. Select all. That will, you don't have to move anything or do anything crazy. Just select all and say attach, okay? And then say make it. So now, let's bring you back to here and you can see what's happening. So I'm gonna choose, oh, I cut this simple out so that you could see it. Let me show you. And those of you who might be new and are wondering, what is this woman talking about? What is a simple? A simple is something I created to help us get our pictures out of our phone and into some 12 by 12 layouts. It works out really well in case you might want to put it on a frame, in a 12 by 12 frame. Maybe you don't want a scrapbook. Maybe that's just not your thing. I'm trying to get you a finished one to show you. Uh, here's one. Oh, this one might show better. This is what a simple looks like when you get it done. It shows you exactly where to place your pictures. So on this one, which is ready for Easter, I can use a four by six right here, and then two four by fours and a three by three. This is for my title, and here's a little bunny, and he happens to fit the bunny From Fable Friends so I can stamp him right there and I'll have him all set to go I have room to do Easter greetings right here one of the other sentiments glad we're friends I could do a little bit with the grass and have a whole little display right here with my bunny I could also cut out a couple extra bunnies if you have more than one bunny in your family and you want one for each person you have enough there's a single bunny that you can cut out too and it's all on that simple that says bunny simple. Okay, so there's that. Next, this is what they look like when you're done. But now we're working with our love it, chop it. Only we're gonna make them love it, cut it. So I'm gonna use some designer series paper and I'm gonna grab the All My Love paper, which is sitting here. And I am going to use, um, which one? Let's do this one, all right? Now remember, when you're grabbing your designer series paper, if you don't remember what the cardstock is that goes, it's right on the back. So this goes with lovely lipstick. This particular layout is definitely lovely lipstick because that's all that's in here, but there's also a little bit of flirty flamingo that could go as well. Bombay blue, crumb cake, soft sea foam, whisper white, okay? So you're gonna put this in, and while this cuts, I'm gonna grab my eight and a half by 11. So I'm gonna line this up. You, This is one of the times you wanna make sure that your paper's lined up nice and straight on your mat. Um, this is designer series paper, but I still keep it on cardstock when I'm cutting with my Explore. Because um, Stampin' Up's paper is, is much stronger and thicker than your average pattern paper. Let's bring it over so you can see. And I'll bring you back to Cricut. I am moving you all over the place and you don't even have to get out of your chair. We're gonna continue. It takes it a little bit. Um, I do have it connected to USB here in the classroom, just because I have so many things going on that it sometimes drops it. So we are ready to cut, and we're gonna let this cut itself out. I'm gonna grab some lovely lipstick for the next part, maybe. Yeah. 
here's our lovely lipstick and that's going to be for the second file and this is going to give you four cards now I'm also going to grab my whisper white and I usually use thick you can you don't have to and I'm going to show you the basic just get it cut out and I'm going to show you what to do with it so while that's happening I'm going to cut my eight and a half by eleven at five and a half two card bases and you can see why this is just easier to use your trimmer okay all right so Cricut's done with that one let's see what we actually got and what's left over okay so when you pull this off kind of hold on to it don't be getting rid of it because this makes amazing little little strips little titles little dividers we're gonna hold on to that for a minute then we have one, two, remember if you're having trouble getting it off, if it's a brand new mat and it's a little sticky, notice this is the blue mat, you're going to flip the mat over and just kind of bend it and it will pop off really easy, it doesn't end up curled. Okay, so what did I end up with? I now have, oh, I need to score my bases too. Let me do that. I could have used my trimmer, but I like my Simply Scored better. And I'm going to score these at four and a quarter. Now, why do you go through this process? What is the point of this? Because if you're like me, you need a card in like a minute and a half. You don't have, you maybe two minutes if you've got a little extra time. You're heading out the door and you all of a sudden realize, oh, I don't have a card. And you go through your stash of cards and you have every other holiday, every other event, but this one. You've got tons of stuff, but you're just not. And then you have to sit here and think, oh, what am I going to do? Here's, here it is, super easy. So all your card bases are scored, ready to go. And you're going to just spend an afternoon and do a whole mass produce these. Now you have these. They fit perfectly right on the front of your card. Easy. I could take my trimmer and do far more with it if I wanted. This can go just like so. Or this could go on here. Wait, we have more coming when we get our card stock. So let's do the next file. Let me bring you back into Cricut, into Design Space, and I'm going to say Finish. And this time, I'm going to create a new file. And I'm going to go to Upload, where I've already uploaded it. Grab this. Now you're thinking, well, why don't I just cut this with my trimmer? You absolutely could. But... Wait to see what else you could do here. So now I can just say make it. And Cricut's going to move it all around again. No, no, no. Come back here. Select all. And attach. Whoops. And attach. And now when I say make it, Cricut brings it in just the way I want it. And I'm going to line up my 8.5 by 11 paper right there. I can actually even choose that as an option and it will make sure that Cricut knows that I'm using eight and a half by 11. But wait, let's go back here. Before I attach this, let's detach it for a minute. What if I wanted, uh, let's see, what would I want in the front of this? What if I wanted to cut out a flower? I'm going to go into images, or maybe I want an Easter basket, or I'm going to go with a flower for now, but I, anything, whatever I want. Flower, 
And I'm going to not pick anything crazy. I'm just gonna go with, I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna go with this one. Just a simple flower and bring it in. And I'm gonna put it right there. Now notice it is a cut and print. Well, I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna say no fill. And that's what it's gonna do. It's just gonna cut that flower out just like that. And I'm gonna copy that. And Well, actually I'm gonna duplicate it and bring this one over here and duplicate. And maybe I don't want four, maybe I just want three. I wanna see what my choices are. Now I'm gonna select everything and I'm gonna attach and now I'm gonna make it. And let's set up our mat. And get these little pieces off. My favorite tool for my Cricut mat is this one. Let me bring it back so you can see what I'm doing. It's this, I love it. Cleans off my mat, super nice. If your mats are feeling like there's a little bit of stuff left over, this is my other favorite tool. It's a lint roller, and this is a little one because I take this with me. And you just roll it up and it picks up all the lint. I don't use baby wipes. I feel like it's kind of weird to wipe alcohol and lanolin all over the bottom of my paper. So I use my lint roller. If they get really icky, which if I'm using Stampin' Up! paper, that doesn't happen. But if they get really icky, then I just go rinse them under warm water. No Dawn dishwasher, no heavy duty chemicals, nothing. Just some warm water and let them dry. Works great. Okay, so now Design Space thinks that I have an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, which I magically do. So I'm gonna pop that on. I'm gonna bump this up one notch. So I'm going to Cardstock Plus because I want to be sure that we cut. Still saving you because I don't know what I'm going to do with you yet. And I'm going to load you on in. And it's going to think about it for a minute. And we're going to cut. So now remember, I added those flowers. I didn't have to, but I added them so that we could get a little bit of bang for our buck here. So this is what it would have done without the flowers. It would have just cut these four spaces, which are great. If you are like me and you really don't like to measure, this is perfect because the machine does all the measuring. I don't have to worry about it. So I can just load sheet after sheet after sheet. And maybe I don't want to cut these flowers out, or maybe I do. And let me show you how this works. And we're done. Okay. Alrighty, save these, because these again, great strips, perfect for stamping on, perfect for using with your label punch. We're gonna cut those so they'll be useful in a second with our scissors, and we have these. All right, so now we have this collection. Let's say we're gonna put one of these together. So I'm gonna grab my snail. I'm gonna take this and pop it down first. I could also be cutting something out of the middle of this if I wanted, because it's not going to show. So if I wanted a punch out of the middle of this or a big shot, I could do that. Now I can just take this, pop this on, pop 
pop this on and I have a really great super layered card. That's easy. But remember, I did this. So this is going to go here. This is going to go here. And this is going to go on top. And nobody is the wiser. And this is ready to get stamped on. And I have this all ready. So what I like to do is put one of them together. Just basic. I don't stamp on it. I don't have a sentiment or anything. I just have it assembled. Grab a couple of dimensionals. And this is ready for whatever the occasion happens to be that I need to be running out the door for. And I can be doing this while the Cricut's cutting another row of them. And I'm just going to go through my 12 by 12 pack of paper. I need to look at this again because I've cut a lot out of this page already and I don't remember. I want to say it's got 12 sheets. Yeah, there's 12 sheets in that one pack of 12 by 12. That's going to give me 48 cards. Oops, didn't get you centered. So there's that. This is just going to sit here because I don't know yet. I'm going to take this is the wood mount case. These are called full or wide cases. I put them in the list so we could tell what they are. Um, where is it? <laughs> Hold on, let me find it. What is it called? It is called... I don't know, it's a mystery. I know I put it in here. Nope, I didn't. It's full wide anyway, I'm pretty sure is what it's called. Anywho, I'm going to pop all my pieces right in here. And then I can label these if I want, so that I know what's in it especially with our new catalog coming out in a little while. I want to stock up on the paper that I love. So all the paper that's in the occasions catalog and in the annual catalog is going to go away. But some of it I absolutely love, like this. And I'm going to put it in there, and I'm going to stack up a bunch of these. I can label it on the end if I want, or it's pretty easy to just flip it over and see what it is. And these are all ready to go. You might pick three or four. If you pick the same designer series paper, then the coordinating pieces that you cut from your eight and a half by 11 will fit great. I have more files that I will be uploading for you over the next few weeks. We'll do this in, in a couple of different, we'll do this more often. Super easy to cut, super easy to put together. So get your designer series paper out and cut it. Download your files and you'll be good to go. If you are using your, somebody asked me this the other day, if you are using the scan and cut and you have a DX which allows you to cut SVGs, why don't you just use those? The problem with SVGs and the scan and cut is it doesn't load them in at the same size as our, as they were created. It makes them a little bit smaller. So that makes it harder for you to figure out what it was supposed to be in a system like that. So that's why I gave you the other ones so that you can do it. And then if you, oh, these, remember I said we were going to save these? I'm just going to take my scissors because I'm probably going to cut these later, but I'm going to make them so they fit in my box. That's the key. They just have to fit in there. I'm not going to cut them tiny because I don't I want to have as much flexibility with them as possible. So I'm just going to take my snips and then like so like so and put them right in the box. right? And then you have them to add borders. You have all these really great straight 
What if you just took your card like so, and you took this small one, and then you line up these underneath, kind of alternating, so like this, and a shorter one, and this one. Need to cut you in half too. I'm just gonna line these guys up, going across a strip of adhesive right across the middle, and just keep lining these guys back and forth all the way across. And you'll get this really interesting custom. Now this is not a two minute card. This is one you've got a little bit more time and notice for. Right? And then maybe I'm going to take this. I want you to flip over. And then I'm going to grab myself a punch. I've got a great size to work with. My punches will fit perfectly. Maybe I can even go this way and get two out of it. But I don't know about you, I would save this and then I would have no idea what to do with it. I'm just gonna pop it in this little box. And when I'm all out of cards, then I ditch those, those scraps. But at least I have it for the next time that I might need this. And this can go on here. Maybe I'm thinking, well, this would look better if I had it, but I have everything that coordinates all right here. I'm not rummaging through the drawer. I'm not going through my scrap pile. Everything is in this one little box. And if you, these come in packs of four, you could probably pick up, I don't know, however many pieces of designer series paper that you have. You could fit all your 48 cards in here easily. They would be tight, but they would all fit. You could even put your envelopes in. So, I want to see what you do, so send me a photo, show me what you're up to, and I will see you all soon. Have a wonderful weekend. Those of you celebrating the holiday, enjoy. And I hope that it's nice and warm. Everyone keep their fingers crossed for a, a sunny Saturday, because Grace is having her fairy garden party on Saturday, and we are hoping for sunshine. <laughs> Have a great weekend. Bye.